Hello, welcome. This is Rob Chisholm and two videos ago I was interested how to take the video on the top so that's one and then second timeline so I just wanted to select all so I'd select all these videos and all these little tiny bits of animation and then place them further over there or just replace the bottom here with one one image or one video uh, and how would you do that? Well, you can't do select all in LumaFusion, not at the moment. Final Cut Pro, you just you would just select all of that um, and drag it over to where you want. Uh, there are some limitations, obviously, once you start moving timeline. So how did I get around this in LumaFusion? Well, the first thing, if you look over to the left-hand side of your screen, so follow me here, is I'm going to lock those layers and uh, there's also one up there which is that one there and then you're going to hit this little arrow here uh, notice the the area here goes purple just turn it off it's gray now it's purple and then if I was to say I'm not sure what happens here that that moves the whole timeline uh, I'm going to take out these fades in a moment but just to see that there and there should be the same here, but it doesn't do the same there. There we go. So what I'll do just quickly is so if we went to the wheel, get rid of the get rid of the fade, crossover, we should be able to, yeah. So we could literally just get rid of that. And now the timeline. Not sure on this one. Yep. The videos above, they're not being affected, but if you've got as you can see, there's crossovers there. It will pick all of them up. So if you want all of them away, you could do that, I suppose. Um, so you could just literally that. Yeah, they're all locked. So if I use up here, I'll just go back to the beginning. And at random, just go to, I don't know, some waves here. Uh, you do have to be aware of the size of the video because it will push all the other videos out which I'll show you. So I'm going to drop that in there. Um, there it is there, the blue. So, oops. If it, I'll just make this smaller. If it was longer, it would push all of these ones here out, but it's not. So, let's go back to the beginning. So that's how I would replace the background without disturbing the top layers here. So hopefully that's made some sense. If not, go and watch the video too before this and it probably explain what I was trying to achieve. So hopefully that will help some of you. Many thanks, Rob Chisholm. <laughs>